Welcome back to the shop. The blade and the bandsaw wheel tires came in, so we're going to take this apart and see if we can get those installed. Uh, and I also got the power switch in, so we're going to see if we can rig that up as well. So I've taken the side panel off and I've taken off the table so we can see what we're doing. And uh, I need to clean off the remaining bits of the urethane tires that were on here before so that we could put the new ones on. So I'm going to get to that now. All right, so I got the uh, the old tire off and I got the old belt off, and the old belt doesn't feel very stretchy anymore. It's like a hard piece of plastic, and the belt or the uh, the wheels rather are a little bit crispy. Those are supposed to be rubber, and they're not. So we're going to try to put the new belts on or the new tires on next, and the new belt. So we'll see how that goes. So I tried to put these belts on, but uh, in the cold temperatures here in my shop, they don't have a lot of stretch to them. So I can't seem to get them around the wheels. And the, uh, the instructions said what we can do is we can put these into a cup of near boiling water to get them warmed up. And then they should be more pliable and we'll be able to get them on the wheels easier. So we're going to give that a try next. While we're waiting for the water to come up to temperature here, I was inspecting these blade guides and it looks like the... Uh, aluminum or zinc casting, whatever this is here, is actually broken here, here, and here. So that might be an interesting exercise. We might have to cast replacements, see if we can get those figured out. Alright, well I got the one on there, and that didn't go on too bad. It uh, wasn't as difficult as I was afraid it was going to be. And this little tool they included, which is just a piece of hose uh, nailed to a piece of wood, uh, worked really well to even out the tension around the wheel. So I'm going to do the other two now, and we'll see how we do. Alright, so a bit of fighting. I got the wheels on all three, or the tires on all three wheels. This one was the worst because there was no way to really clamp around it. Um, it's hollow in the backside, so I could have clamped it if I took it off, but uh, with a bit of fighting, I managed to get it on there, and it looks like this should work. So now we're ready to install the blade and see how it works, if it works.
All right. We got the blade on, we got the tires on, everything's tensioned and it seems to be tracking okay. Uh, I definitely need to replace these uh, these blade guides with something because this is not, it's not pressing on the backing bearing here properly. And uh, the previous owner obviously had trouble with that since there's uh, duct tape and wood in here. So not exactly a premium repair, but I think we can do a better job. Uh, let's see if we can get the drive belt on there and then this thing is ready to test and uh, we'll see how it does. We could probably even do a small test cut with it in the condition it's in, but it won't be ready for regular use until I get these blade guides repaired. So uh, these are, this all came as a kit from a company called Blue Max. And uh, they had the exact right kit for this machine, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to fit the new urethane belt on here and see what happens. So this particular saw has got, uh, it's got three pulleys on here for different speeds. This is in what they're going to call the metal cutting speed at 120. I actually not sure what that, what that means here. Revolutions per minute. Maybe it's, maybe it's total blade revolutions per minute, 120, 750 and 1200. So wood cutting would be done on 750 apparently. So. I think we'll start it on the slowest for now, and uh, we'll see how it operates. And I'm going to stand well back when we plug it in. There's no switch wired in yet. I bought this paddle switch for it, which is great, but uh, it doesn't fit into the housing properly. So I'm going to have to jury rig something for that. And I think I'll do that in another video. But for now, this will be good enough for testing. All right, so we've got the blade on, belt's on, it's wired up, ready to go. And my assistant is going to flip the switch when I say go. And then we can see this thing actually move. Hello. All right, go for it. As you can see, it's turning, working. It's kind of noisy. Those bearings definitely need to be replaced. But uh, I think it's going to work. All right, so now we have the tires on, the belts in, the blade is on. Uh, definitely going to have to do something about those blade guides before I do any serious cutting with this. But I think that I can install the table. And we can do a very light test cut just to see how it cuts, if it cuts. All right, so once again, my assistant is going to turn on the saw for me in a moment. And I've got a piece of scrap here that we're going to try to cut. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Okay. All right, go ahead and turn it on for me. Well, I'm going to call that a success. That was a very easy cut. And uh, it looks like it did a great job. So I'm looking forward to using this once I get the blade guides rebuilt. And I think it'll be an excellent addition to my workshop. Thanks for watching.